So NC State has been a leader in the development of wideband gap semiconductor materials as well as devices uh, for the last 30 years. Silicon has been used as the material for making power devices for the last 50 years. But what we've discovered is that wide band gap semiconductors can revolutionize power electronics because of their high temperature and high voltage capability. Wide band gap semiconductors were found to be important based upon a theory that I developed in 1980, which showed that by replacing silicon with silicon carbide, we can get a 1,000 fold enhancement in performance. The development of wide band gap semiconductor materials began at NC State in the early 1980s. Uh, in 1988, I joined NC State and began the development of power devices out of this material, and we had the first successful power rectifier in 1991, followed by the first power MOSFETs in 1996. This encouraged a worldwide activity in the development of wideband gap semiconductor electronics, and today we have more than a dozen companies, including one uh, founded by my own student, who are developing products for the industry. Most power electronic applications like uh, your home appliances, air conditioning systems, uh, robots and factories are all run using silicon devices, particularly the IGBT. In the future, we expect wideband gas semiconductors to replace them to produce even more efficiency because of the reduced power losses inside the material when they're used in these applications. And the industry expects that these devices will start displacing silicon technology producing much more efficient electronics that will be used in consumer industrial applications. Wide band gap semiconductors also have an important role in the power grid. The reason is that the utility voltages are extremely large and silicon devices cannot withstand such high voltages. So currently we are developing extremely high voltage 15,000 volt devices in the Freedom Research Center at NC State. And these will be used by the utility to produce the next generation of technology for introducing renewable sources into the grid. I believe that the wideband gap semiconductor technology is the next big step in power electronics. Uh, so we made a major advancement in power electronics in the 1980s by creating IGBTs and now with wideband gap semiconductors we will produce the next revolution.